All right, so here we're gonna try to uh, hook up a DM6 to a Rock Band 3 game uh, via PlayStation. And uh, since there's been some confusion on whether or not you can actually use a DM6 with Rock Band or not, um, it's not directly compatible, but with little a little amount of money, um, you can pretty much hook this up. It's gonna require a extra cable or two, but um, it's not really any big deal. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and see what we need here. Sorry about my house if it's a mess or anything here. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna need is the uh, MIDI Pro adapter, which is uh, this bad boy right here. It's set up specifically for PlayStation. Um, uh, I think that they have one for Xbox and Wii as well. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need is this which is a USB to MIDI adapter. Um, the last thing you're going to need is is a cable that's a type A male USB to type B male USB. So let's go ahead and get started on what we have to do here. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to take our uh, MIDI Pro adapter and we will hook this directly into our PlayStation here. Done. Okay. And I'm going to take my MIDI Pro and I'm just going to set it down on the couch next to me here. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Type A Mail USB to Type B Mail USB. Um, the difference being the Type A Mail looks like this and it goes in the back of the DM6 module. Um, kind of wish it was a type A, but since they're more common, but whatever. So it's more along the lines of like a like a printer USB. So then the next thing, uh, let me go ahead and walk around my drum set here. Okay, so I'll take that and I will plug that into my USB cable here, on my USB port. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my my MIDI USB cable. I'm going to pop my USB into here. And the one I got, um, these are the cheaper ones and they're, they're more common because a lot of modules have a MIDI in, MIDI out input, um, output. So it doesn't really matter so I just got this one uh, what you want to do is um, I assume they're all the same color but I don't really know and on this I don't know if you can see or not but one's marked in uh, my red one's marked in and my black one is marked out so I'm going to uh, come over here and I'm gonna pop my uh, my MIDI cable um, into my pro adapter here you can just bear with me one sec while I try to do that. I'm just gonna pop it right on in there. Okay, there we go. So mainly what's happening here is that uh, everything is being run through my laptop. Uh, the reason the DM6 does not work is because it has a different output, the USB output signal and uh, the PlayStation game only recognizes, or the PlayStation Mini Pro adapter only recognizes a MIDI output, not a USB output. So, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go online and up in your uh, little search box here, uh, hopefully anybody can see that, but I'll also type it. You want to type www. M-I-D-I-O-X dot com enter and this is your software that you're going to want to use um, you just want to go you just want to go right over here to the latest version which is right here and on here you're going to want to find um, whichever one fits yours um, whether or not you have Windows or Mac. I'm not sure if they have Mac or not, but uh, it might just be Windows at this point. But anyway, it looks like uh, 
this is the newest version right here, so you're going to want to go ahead and download that. Um, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it here. So, um, and then just download it, install it, and you'll be set to go. Now, um, once you have it, you'll want to find it, load it up, and um, this is basically what it looks like. It's nothing spectacular, it's just this big black screen or whatever, and you have a, a ton of options up top. I mean, y when you're not going to really know what's going on up top here and how to use all these options, so I'm going to tell you the exact options that you are going to want to use. Um, you just want to go right on up here to options, right here. You're going to click media devices, all right, and then over here, you're going to have some options. Um, in this box, the MIDI input box, you're going to want to do eDrum. So if you can see that, eDrum, and you're going to want to click on that. And then the output, you're going to want to have the USB MIDI highlighted. I know both of mine are highlighted, but don't worry about that. You just want to keep your USB MIDI highlighted. After you do that, you're going to want to click OK. All right, and I'm just going to get out of this. So up here it tells me, you know, open MIDI input, open MIDI output. Um, down here tells me that I have two output devices, one input device. You're probably only going to have one and one. But I have two because I have some other stuff going on. So next thing, let's roll over to Rock Band. And, uh see what's going on here. So, we have Rock Band and using your little adapter here, you know, it's the same thing. You're going to have start, select, uh, triangle, square, blah, 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 PlayStation button, main home button, whatever. So, um, I assume you know how to use this off the regular module already. So, let's go back to here. I'm going to hit X. And it's going to ask me, you know, it's already going to link in here. So let's, uh, it's going to say, do you want this saved? Sure, we'll save it. Um, and then let's go ahead and we'll go to play now. Quick play, two songs. I just started drums, so I'm not great. So um, I'm just learning how to, how to play drums here. So um, let's go ahead and pick a song don't really care which one. We'll take, uh, take the very first one up here. I have some songs loaded up here. I mainly just play guitar, but um, you know, we'll go from here. And we'll see how it works out. Let's go ahead and get some volume on here. All right, and I'm gonna do it just like I would normally and hit X. But here, um, you're going to want to go to Pro Drums. That's if you want to play Pro Drums or not. And um, then I'm going to select that. And uh, I'll just pick Easy because I suck. I'm not very good. All right, so let's back out. I've got my sticks. I've got my screen, all my drums. Everything works. Everything works. This is going to be kind of tough to do. Hopefully, I get a quick demonstration here. I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm only playing one handed, so this is going to be a little, a little brutal. So, let's see if we can come in a little further. Plus, uh, trying to use this camera and doing. Uh, doing drumming at the same time so you can definitely eliminate this if you already know how to play drums but and obviously I can't do two things but you can basically like it's hard for me to use the camera at the same time at 
least uh, do the foot pedal. Okay, so basically you get the idea. We'll just stop there. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just shoot me a comment or something. Um, this is my first video, so sorry if it totally sucked. But uh, anyway, uh, good luck.